previously on Gross Point. I want to have a baby someday, just not yet. There, I said it. I'm a horrible person. Becky, I told you, the baby's my problem too. You're not making this decision without me. God, Stone, how are you going to handle a baby? You couldn't even handle the 11th grade. I will handle it because I love you, man. Oh, my God. I can't believe he said it. Oh, my God! Stone, look out! How's Stone? Stone's gonna be fine, sis. But you're the one mom and dad are worried about. I left the game the minute I heard. I mean, how can I lead a cheer knowing my best friend's in the hospital? Thanks. But, sweetheart, the doctor told us there was a baby. I know. You lost it. I'm so sorry, Mom. I lose everything. Oh, shh. It's okay. But Becky, I don't want you seeing Stone Anders ever again. Hold it. Why does she always have to thrust her boobs like that whenever she feels an emotion? Now look at her lips this week. They're enormous. I read in an interview that she doesn't use collagen. <laughs> yeah, and that's her original chin. It's <laughs> probably just a reaction to this Entertainment Weekly poll. What are you talking about? Who's the sexiest cheerleader on television? Marcy came in last. Behind Brittany on Daria. Isn't she a cartoon? You guys, the network president's on one. Oh, God, what does he want? That he's calling about the new girl. Rob, maybe we shouldn't have hired someone he didn't love. Hope, relax. This is a genius who told Felicity to cut her hair. Courtney? Yeah. Courtney, hi. Hi. I'm Jessica. Hi. Robin hopes this is Yeah, I remember you from the audition. I'm so sorry. They were supposed to have your name at the gate. That's okay. I use the time to run my lines. Would you take my picture? I want to remember this moment sorry. forever. Thanks. She's cute. Anybody have a 20 or Dude, the waves were awesome this morning. Cool. Hey, check out how golden and downy these hairs are getting around my navel. Wow. They're kind of soft like chest hair, but yet sexy like pubic hairs. Yeah. Hey, what do you call this anyway? I don't know, like chesty pubic tummy hair? Yeah. I love myself. I love myself. I only eat healthy food. I only eat healthy food. Oh, great. Catherine Zeta-Jones. Again. Don't you just love her? Excuse me. Hunter? Hi. Hunter? No offense, but I have a policy about not talking to the extras. Oh, I'm not an extra. I'm Courtney Scott. I'm playing your cousin Laura, who just moved to Gross Point. Oh, right, the weird cousin from West Virginia. Yeah. Anyway, it is such a thrill to meet you. Oh, God. I can't believe I'm really here. <laughs> Don't be nervous. Once you get past the freaks on the crew staring at you, it's a breeze. Ira, <laughs> you're twisting my hair. That really hurts, OK? So, Courtney, what have you done? Oh, a bunch of stuff. But most recently, I played Nora in a doll's house at the University of Arizona. 
Oh, I can't believe I missed that. When I walk into a room, people are happy to see me. When I walk into a room, people are happy to see me. Hi, I'm Marcy. Hi, Marcy. Courtney Scott. Hi. Do you even have an apartment yet? Oh, no, I'm staying at a hotel with my mom. I guess I'm gonna have to start looking for a place. Oh, I'll go apartment hunting with you if you want. Oh, that would be great. Okay. Guys, there's a make-a-dream kid on the set who'd love to come in and say hello. What's a make-a-dream kid? Oh, there are these sick children who visit the set every so often, and meeting us is like their dream come true. <laughs> What's wrong with them? Leukemia. Oh. His name's Adam. Now is not a good time. OK. Excuse me. Johnny? Hi, I'm Courtney Scott. I'm playing Laura Johnson, your cousin who moves from West Virginia. My cousin? Yeah, you know, my parents were killed in that landslide, and our fathers haven't spoken for years, but your folks were left as my guardians in the will. Man, I have to start reading the script. <laughs> you mean you haven't read the script for this week's episode yet? Nah, I, I never look at it until I get on set. Oh, when do you prepare? What do you mean? I mean, when do you define your character objectives and do your sense memory work? Um, never. Uh, what about our character histories? How often did we see each other as children? Were you the one who taught me how to ride a bike? And did we ever play doctor? I don't know. I never thought of all that. <laughs> well, don't you think you ought to? I mean, <laughs> I've been preparing for weeks, and how am I supposed to do my best work when you don't even know who I am? <laughs> Courtney, we need you in wardrobe right now, please. Grab her fast, man. Get her in here. We're waiting on you. We're flying her in, yeah. We'll slam dunk her. Yeah. <laughs> the new girl's hot. Hey, Johnny. Let's have lunch later. Dude, she is so in love with you. It's disgusting. Out of all the actresses out there, that's who they cast as my first cousin. Please, she wishes she looked like me. Well, I guess she's attractive enough for Stone. What are you talking about? Oops. I guess I should zip my lip. You better tell me. I saw an outline of next week's episode. The new girl and Stone are going to hit it off while Becky's spending afternoons in physical therapy. <laughs> no way. Stone would never cheat on me while I'm recuperating, especially not with that Bowser. Poor Becky. She's always getting stepped on. I Ira, I really need you now. Hey, you're not done. Ira, I'm speaking to you. Ira! <laughs> You gotta do something. It's itching me like crazy. Let me wait. Lock the door. Okay, Mr. Paranoid. Let me comb it. You gotta start styling it differently, man. Johnny's hair's starting to look cooler than mine. One miracle at a time, sweetheart. Oh. Quentin, can I have your autograph? Uh, sure. You're bald. Yeah. But if you're really a fan of mine, you don't want to tell anyone that. I won't. You know, they promised me a walk-on. But it'd be really great to have a line on the show. If I could have a line on the show, I would never tell anybody. Not even when they interview me tomorrow in Access Hollywood. OK, I'll see what I can do. I can't believe you're so nice to that Courtney girl. I'll help you look for apartments if you want to. I mean, how stupid are you? All right, I'm just trying to be nice. It's not a crime, you know. I know why they hired that new girl, but I'm not sure that you want to hear it. What? Tell me. Well, I saw this memo going around saying that you weren't sexy enough. What? Are you serious? Where'd you see that? On the set. It was just lying around. I think it's horrible. I mean, you are so great on the show, even if the fans don't agree. You saw that Entertainment Weekly poll? I don't pay attention to that stuff. <laughs> but Robin Hope might. You think? If I were you, I'd go to their office and throw a fit. 
Because the more there is of Courtney on the show, the less there's going to be of you. Nine. Listen, dude, I got a question for you. You remember when we were in acting class together before you got gross point, and we used to say that, like, whoever got work first would, like, lay down and do whatever it took for the other guy, right? Yeah, dude, I did get you a job. Dude, being a stand-in isn't acting. Dude, I'm not the producer. Dude, you have pull. Come on, you're the star. This is so uncool. Man, fine. I mean, I had a really great idea for a character I'd be perfect for, too, but if you don't want to hear about it, that's cool. Yeah? Who is it? Richard! Hey, hey, dude, come on in. I was shopping at the Beverly Center yesterday, and I saw something that had your name all over it. Man, I'm so pissed. I told them they cannot be putting out merchandise without my permission. Uh, wasn't a doll, was it? No, silly, I got you a gift. <laughs> Thanks. Just a little something. I'm not sure I got you the right size. I'll try it on. Whoa. Dude, a new wetsuit. Man, sometimes I wish you were my real dad. Oh, too young to be your real dad. I don't understand. Would I really be dressing this way in the middle of a Michigan winter? We don't pay attention to the seasons. But how am I supposed to create any kind of reality? I mean, I just moved to Gross Point from West Virginia, and it's my first day of school. What am I saying with this outfit? You're saying I may be a hick, but damn it, I'm hot. Maybe, because I'm a poor girl, I have low self-esteem, and I'm trying to compensate for that by dressing in an exhibitionistic fashion. Right. They must have accidentally left that out of the script. Right. First team top. She's on her way. Thank you. God, you really look sexy. I'm not sure I... No. You really, really do. Courtney, I'm Quentin King. I know, yeah, so nice so listen, you. we're going to have to do a lot of kissing in the next few episodes. You can hold the back of my neck, but never touch my hair. Got it? Okay. Did you get the pink pages? What are pink pages? Changes on the scene we're about to shoot. Changes? Now? Oh, my God. Quentin, this could be a problem with SAG. We've had extras waiting years for a line. Come on, Hope. Where is your humanity? This poor kid's dying. You're worried about a silly rule. What's the problem? Quentin bonded with the Make a Dream kid. Promised him a line. Cool, let's do it. You're a prince. Well, how magnanimous. Thanks for making me look like a cold bitch. Iris said the kid saw him this morning without his wig. Moving in. Oh. oh, wow, look at Courtney. Oh, the network is gonna love her. She's gorgeous. Oh, you know, we made totally the right choice. We know what we're doing. We know what we're doing. We know what we're doing. Hi, about this new scene, I'm not really prepared. What the hell is going on here with my wardrobe? Uh, uh, what do you, what what do you mean? mean? She's wearing my favorite pumps, and that is my slut top. Totally signature items. Well, uh, but you, you gave them to her because she lost all her clothes in the, uh, the landslide that right. destroyed her house. I would never let her borrow those shoes. I can change. No, 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 honey. Uh, Becky is so generous, she would let her cousin borrow anything. Look, I told you after last season's gang rape that I'm tired of playing the victim. Becky is strong. She doesn't put up with crap anymore. Look, honey, I, I swear to you, Becky is so victorious this season. We have a major Becky story arc coming up. It's gonna blow you away. Tell me. Let's go, please. We've got to shoot this scene. Are you sure we can't go back to the old piece? No, 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 no. This is it's gonna be great. <laughs> First day on the set, and she's trying to give you guys notes. Nice. Second team out. First team in. <laughs> yeah. First team's up. First team's up. Did you talk to Robin Hope yet? No. I really don't like to test that relationship. Yeah, anyway, I heard that because of the new girl, your character might get shipped off to a boarding school in France. 
Whatever you do, don't eat in the cafeteria. It's Geek Central. And never take a shower in the gym. It's so crazy being the new girl. Everything is so different here. I... Excuse me, ladies! Ow! Oh, he just rolled right over my toe! Okay, cut. Sorry. A kid like that would be going to a special school anyway. Um, I'm sorry. Uh... You were squeezing me into the lockers. Hunter was pushing me into you. I was not. You don't even know your lines yet. Okay, that was great, Courtney. That was great. But the the line is, it's difficult being the new girl. Everything here is so different from... I don't know what you said. Um, it doesn't matter. It was good. Really? Um, really good. Yeah, very good. Okay, everybody, let's go again. Back to one. Quiet, please. And action. Whatever you do, don't eat in the cafeteria. It's Geek Central. And never take a shower in the gym. It's so <laughs> difficult being a new girl. Everything here is so different from my old school. I... I'm sorry. I forgot my line again. Okay, cut. Hope she keeps blowing takes. What are we gonna do? Fire her. Sometimes it's easier when you carry your books like this. Just try not to look down too much. First team stepping in. Thank you. Right on the set. Speed. We have speed. We're rolling. Background and action. Whatever you do, don't eat in the cafeteria. It's Geek Central. And never take a shower in the gym. It's so difficult being a new girl. Everything here is so different from my old school. People here are so materialistic. I value people for who they are, not what they wear or drive. Once you've lost your parents and cheated death, you realize there's more to high school than just being popular. And you just, you're just grateful f for the gift of life. Okay. And I just want you to know, for what it's worth, I think your work is really great on the show. Really? Thanks. Yeah, you always seem totally real and grounded. That is so sweet. So maybe we can go apartment hunting this weekend. Yeah, great. <laughs> okay, I'll call you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> is that your new lesbian lover? Very funny. So you want to go to Sky Bar night? No, thanks. Fine, loser. Stay home and read Entertainment Weekly. I deserve friends who care about me. I deserve friends who care about me. Hey, Johnny. You want to come watch me host Love Line? Uh, no thanks. Hey, phone in a question. Hey. Hey, dude. You rock today. You saved my life. I don't know how to thank you. Maybe you can help me run some lines tomorrow. In my trailer? Sure. I owe you big time. Thanks for the great first day. Are you gonna be a bridesmaid? What are you talking about? I think Johnny's in love. Either that or he's got a surfboard in his pants. Hi, it's Marcy. Yeah, I need to speak to my agent right away. Next week on Gross Point. You said you weren't going to fly out of state. Except for Yale. 
and they accepted me with a full scholarship. Just how are you expecting me to feel right now, Brad? It's only going to be four years. Four years is a lifetime. Hi. Man, your cousin's so hot. I know. 